millions of workers are set for a pay rise, with the Fair Work Commission increasing the minimum wage by 5.2% or $40 a week. It's good news for some, but today's decision also puts more pressure on small businesses. Fab Suchi is the owner of Tiamo Restaurant in Melbourne. He joins me now from Ligon Street. Fab, thanks for joining us. You're family run, you're a Melbourne institution. How will this pay rise affect you and your business? Look, uh, most of our staff at the moment is paid way above the, uh, well not way, but above the award uh, rate and um, so that might have some impact. But I think fundamentally a lot of the small businesses may feel the pinch as well. Have you had to pay your workers more to attract and to keep them because of the, the worker shortage that we're seeing across the yeah. country? That's right, and that's, that's what's been happening all across the, the industry in the restaurant business and uh, catering, because there's not enough people to go around, so it's in order to keep them, you have to pay them well. So you're already paying them more, but we know that workers who are on the minimum wage have been going backwards with the soaring cost of living. Will you have to pass the higher wages on to your customers? Will we see, for example, pizza or pasta at Tiamo costing more? Well, we'll try not to. But at the end of the day, we may have to look at that. But for the moment, we try and keep everybody happy and coming back. So is this going to be a big slug for you, the, the wage rise, the pay rise that's been announced today? I don't think we'll see it now, but uh, I believe also with uh, superannuation going up as well, we will feel the pinch down the track for sure. And how are you and businesses like yours going? Because you've been through two years of lockdowns. How are you going getting back on your feet? Look, no doubt it's been tough. Um, but we managed, somehow managed to survive. We've got loyal customers coming back and uh, lots of young families. So that helps a lot as well. And are those cost of living pressures, apart from the wage rise, are they also impacting you in other ways? Because we're having to pay more as households at the supermarket and at the checkout. Are you also having to pay more for your supplies for the restaurant? Well, supplies, number one, from overseas are, are now becoming to be very scarce. That's the problem. And number two is the fact that all prices are going up with shipping costs going up. Obviously, it's a flow-on effect. Uh, but gas and electricity is going to be the next big hit, I reckon. So what support then do businesses like yours need right now? I don't think there's a way out for the moment. I think we'll so we have to all knuckle down and try and survive the best we can and maybe come out of it uh, the other end and, like most Australians do, we'll, we'll you know, smile at the end of the day. Well, let's hope so, and they'll be smiling after they have a meal at Tiamo tonight. Fab Suchi, thank you so much for joining us.